Today we're magically converting our Figma designs into animated and interactive web pages and designs that you can actually publish and use. You're gonna see the amazing capabilities of Figma to Framer and what Framer can now do. There's so much has changed over the past months and I'm super excited to show you. As a first step, we want something that we've already designed in Figma. I'm gonna pick up a page from Untitled UI's free Figma UI kit. I'll have a link in the description so that you can follow along. Under pages, I'm gonna navigate to the landing pages section. I'm going to be exporting this UI right here as it is with all the auto layouts, fonts, etc. over to Framer in just one click. And this is how you do it. Just click on the frame that you have here. Go to the resources tab on the top left, right next to the T or the, or the text sign. And under this, go to plugins and search for Framer. You'll get Figma to HTML with Framer and I want you to run that. Once it's analyzed this page and it's copied 617 layers, I'm now going to go over to Framer. For that you can either install the Framer app or just go to your browser. Once you're inside your browser, just type in framer.com and you'll reach Framer. From here, you just want to say open Framer or sign up slash login. Start a new project by clicking on new and I suggest choosing the blank site template. It will then ask you to put it in any team. So just put it in any dummy team for now. Now, once you're inside Framer on your browser, just right click, paste and select paste. It will say uploading Figma images. Now you might have to adjust the size of this. Just change it from 1200 to 1400. Even for the height, you can quickly just hold command or control and change the height of this page. If you wanted to do this automatically, you could have done that. Just click on desktop once again, go to the right and there's a layout option right here. Click on layout. And this will convert it into a stack, which is exactly what we want. We also want the height right here to change from fixed to fit. And this will fit the entire page automatically, just like we had in Figma. Now let me shift myself from the right to the left so that everything will be a little more clear and easy to understand on the right. Now the first animation that comes to mind is an appearance animation. So an appearance animation happens whenever the page either loads or you scroll. So in this case, we want to animate this nice little section one by one. So in that case, what we'll do is click on all the elements right here that we want to animate the title, the subtext here, the buttons, etc. You can even check out the layers panel just like we had in Figma, just to confirm that you've selected everything. On the right, there's something called effects. And this is where the magic happens. Click on the plus icon right next to effects and, and click on appear animation. Appear means whenever the page loads, something will happen. In this case, we want this beautiful text right here to scale in bottom, which means it'll scale in from the bottom. We can even change the animation properties from the right. You can reduce the opacity, increase or decrease it. You can increase or decrease the scale, the initial scale of the text. I can even change the transition from a spring animation like this that we have to an ease. And here we can change it to ease in out, ease out, back in out, whatever you like. I prefer setting the animation like this manually on a ease curve. And I'm also in gonna increase the time to 0.5 and no delay, that's perfect. Now, if we play this right here, it will open up on the same page. See how beautifully it animates in. Wanna see that again? Ah, smooth. You can do this with multiple elements all across the page. And I've seen that it's very efficient. It does not slow down the page at all. Now, what if we want that things should appear while we are scrolling? Scroll animations are super easy to do in Framer. Just click on the elements you want to animate while you scroll. For example, I want to animate this little section as we're scrolling right here. I click on this section and on the right, I say effects again. And here we have a scroll animation, which is perfect. I'm gonna click on scroll animation. And whenever the layer is on view, which is the perfect setting, and it should start when I reach in the middle of this section, so that's perfect. Replay, yes, no, that's up to you. Preset scale in, we'll say fade in, slide in bottom. So it'll slide in from the bottom. And for the effects, we're gonna set it from spring to ease, just like we did earlier. Now, if we preview this real quick, if I start scrolling, uh, see how it animated in just like that. How about copying animations? Copying animations is super easy in Framer. For example, I have set an effect right here. All I have to do is right click while selecting this, click on copy, 
and here I can copy the effects right here. So no need to repeat the same efforts. Just right click here, paste, paste effects. So wherever you want the same effect, whichever element, be it a card, a icon, logo, whatever, you can just paste in the effects. And if I play this once again, and I slowly scroll down, one, two, three. See how everything smoothly animates in. Now what if I want to 3D animate inside Framer? I click on whichever element I want to 3D animate. For example, this nice little image right here. So you can do, you can do 3D animations either on click or on scroll. For now, let's try the scroll 3D animation. So if I click on this image right here, I go to the right and select effect and I say scroll transform. So whenever I am scrolling over this, something will happen. So trigger on, sc on scroll or layer in view. I'll say layer in view from this to this. So this will be our initial position. On our from position, we will change the rotate Y axis. This is our Y 3D axis. See how it's rotating on a 3D axis slowly? Perfect. I will also increase the opacity to 100% and scale it a little bit more. Perspective also I can increase or decrease. The two will be the perfect initial position. That's it. If I play this now, if I scroll down slowly, smoothly, as you can see, this 3D rotates into place. Ah, uh, see, if I slowly move, it's 3D rotates into place and it looks beautiful. Now, Framer has a lot of animated components and elements built into it. And this is how it works. So for example, I want a nice little animated slideshow of all these icons. How do I make this possible? Now, a nice little animated element will be added. So if I click on insert on the top left, and I, and I click on interactive right here. There are three interactive elements that they've already built in. One is the ticker, the slideshow, and the carousel. In this case, we want the ticker which keeps on animating as we scroll. So I'll just drag this into this position right here. So it's right below these icons. Now adding any element to this animated section is super simple. I click on this little section right here and just drag it out of the frame and remove stack. Stack is similar to a group. So I'm going to remove this from the group. And now we have two rows created individually. I click on this little animated section and I'll drag it into the first one like this, perfect. And I'll, I'll drag this once again into the second section as well. So now we have two children item. I will also increase the width of this to fill the component completely by clicking on it, going to the right property section right here and under width, I change it from fixed to fill. If I play this once again and I scroll down to that particular section, as you can see, there's this infinite scroll that keeps on moving. When we hover over this, it slows down as well. Isn't that a nice little touch? You also have gradients on the edges like this. Now I can also quickly edit everything in this set. I can change the speed of how fast it is scrolling from left to right. I can change the direction of the scroll. I can change the alignment to, to from top. I can even change how fast or smooth this section gets when I hover over this. Now I want to introduce you to the ultimate Framer animation library. It's called Framer.Supply and it has a bunch of collection of animated elements that are tricky to create on your own, but you can quickly copy, paste and edit. For example, I like this motion text, this magic motion text. I can quickly click on copy here, go back to my Framer website, and here, anywhere I want, I'll paste that element right here above this section. Perfect, you have all the options. So here I can say a brand new app. And everything else I'm gonna keep the same. But in this case, I want the color to be a darker color. And I want the font to be something else. So inter is fine. I can increase the size just like this dynamically. And I can also change the alignment, perfect. Now that we have this nice little title, I'll play this once again for you. And as you can see, it animates perfectly like this. You can increase or decrease the speed in the section right here, but that's up to you. I personally like this arc, animated arc text, works similarly. I also like this globe, this 3D globe that you can edit, move around. So everything you need has already been created in this lovely page. Apart from that, inside the Framer website, there's something called templates. Under templates, you can search for any of these options, 3D, 2D, free, paid, and here you will get all the animations in built. So for example, in this Framer website, I can quickly view and interact with an element like this in 3D. If you want something like this on your website, you can always use this template as well. 
you will also get all the inbuilt animations and interactions in this website. I prefer just copy pasting and tweaking it according to my needs and wants. But that is it for today's magnificent video. I will also have affiliate links which will get you discounts on Framer's premium plans for you guys in case you or your business wants to shift up. That also helps and supports this channel. Thumbs up if you want me to make more videos like this. Comment down below anything you want to ask. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. I'll see you next week same time same place until next time take care subscribe and god bless